Here's a tab of acid for your ear. What's up guys, it's Johnny Candido of Candido Training HQ. Today's video is one that I am very excited for because there's a lot to get to. This workout went extremely well. And first of all, let's just get into the 520 pound single here on squat. This went well, as you can tell, but it did have a little bit of an awkward bottom position. And that's just because I unracked it with the bar slightly below my reared out shelf. So that's an easy solution, just something I need to be more mindful of. And what's funny is this is actually the first time this whole comeback is the first time I've low bar squatted consistently with the bar position clearly on the rear delt shelf, not below it, and with the stance width in place where my shin angle basically stays the same. Also, in terms of programming, what I'm doing is basically a minimum and maximum. So I am using RPE, but in the context of predetermined loading. So given 520 moved okay this week, but it still could have moved a little bit better. I'm gonna stick with the same min max one more week. And then if 520 finally moves how 500 did this workout, then I'll finally bump that up. I have so much information in the past that now I know, okay, I can fix a few things, but I know exactly what works for me in every other spot. So I think that's one of the reasons why now once this comeback's picking up steam, that I think it's just gonna go to another level. And that's what I'm trying to do now is just not sabotage myself mentally because I have so much positive momentum on literally every lift right now. And I'm just trying not to overthink it. I'm sure a lot of people can relate to that. Is that the moment you start doing really well, you start doubting, okay, was the lockout good? Was my depth good? You almost want to bring yourself down rather than just believe in it, let it go and keep it rolling. Even though, as you can tell by the title, a six plate squat is the primary goal, 585 on the bar, six beautiful succulent pound plates. But what is going to be the near term goal is in five weeks, I'm doing a meet called Power Fest. So it's a USAPL meet local in the Houston area. I'm honestly trying not to sound cheesy in this video because I'm just so excited about everything that's going on right now. I'm just trying to ride this wave right now of, of positive momentum. Uh, but the snatch grip deadlift for 200 kilos for 12 here, made me just so happy because this is a lift that I didn't expect to be this strong at this stage. You know, I hit 455 early on for five, then 480. When I hit 480 for five, I did that because 495 for five or 500 for five would have been too hard. So there were times where I was kind of approaching what I thought would be a slowdown point. <laughs> Now to end the video, I will mention, as you can tell the link in the description, that your boy is finally shilling out. I finally have a discount code for physical product for the first time in my entire YouTube career. So use Candido, I recommend the shorts. The shorts are specifically what I use in basically every sumo video. On YouTube and on Instagram, you've probably seen you know, me always wear these kind of Under Armour-ish type of shorts. And what I really like is basically the design makes it to where it doesn't look totally like underwear, even though you are going to be bulging in it. But um, I like it. I like it a lot. And it's very similar to the feel of a singlet. And even when I pull with the singlet on, I pull the sleeves up a little bit uh, so that basically I get that skin on skin contact just to make sure I don't have any unexpected friction at the top of a sumo. And the fact that Kevin Oak runs it, who is a fellow powerlifter and just a general nice guy is a really cool bonus. Anything that I'm not sure of the evidence in, or they just don't care about powerlifting at all, I'm not gonna be a part of. All right, that's it guys. Make sure to like the video, support the channel, subscribe if you haven't already. Now, thanks for watching guys. Peace. I don't think we're in love. That's just the drugs.